Gina from the Children's Museum of Green Bay and welcome to Earth and Space Week brought to us by the NYS Network. Today we have an uh, activity that's all about a very important part of our solar system. It's very big, it's very bright, and it's very hot. What do you think that might be? If you guessed the sun, you're right. Today we're talking about the sun. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about how the sun casts shadows, how we can see shadows because of the sun and objects that basically block the sun's light and then we see a shadow in its place. Okay, so today we're going to start with a story and it's called Moon Bear's Shadow by Frank Ash and it's published by Aladdin Books. All right, let's get started. One day, Bear went down to the pond with his fishing pole and a big can of worms. While he was putting a worm on his hook, he looked down and saw a big fish. I'm going to catch that fish, thought Bear to himself. But when Bear stood up to throw his line in the water, his shadow scared the big fish away. <gasps> Go away, Shadow, cried Bear. But Bear's shadow would not go away. Okay, said Bear, if you won't go on your own, then I'm just going to have to get rid of you. And he put down his fishing pole and began to run. He ran around the pond and when he got to the other side, he kept running. He ran through a field of flowers, jumped over the brook and hid behind a tree. Good, thought Bear. Now Shadow can't find me. But Bear was wrong. When he stepped out from behind the tree, the first thing he saw was Shadow. Nearby was a cliff. Bear walked over to the cliff and looked up. I'll climb so high Shadow won't be able to find me, thought Bear. But Bear climbed higher and higher until at last he pulled himself up to the top. Huffing and puffing, he smiled with pride. Then he looked down and he saw Shadow. Now Bear was very annoyed. So he went home and got a hammer and some nails to nail his shadow to the ground. He hammered and hammered and hammered, but no matter how many nails he hammered, he couldn't nail Shadow down. If I can't nail him down, thought Bear, maybe I can bury him. So he got his shovel and he dug a hole. When the hole was deep and wide, he let his shallow shadow fall in the hole. Then Bear filled the hole with dirt. When he was finished, it was almost noon. The sun was high in the sky and Shadow was nowhere to be seen. <sighs> At last, sighed Bear, no more Shadow. Now, Bear was very tired. So he went inside and he took a little nap. While he slept, time passed. Once again, cast shadows everywhere. There's the sun casting shadows everywhere. When Bear got up and opened the door, he saw his shadow on the floor. Not you again, exclaimed Bear, and he slammed the door, hoping to lock Shadow inside. But Shadow was too quick. Hmm, sighed Bear, how about this? If you let me catch a fish, I'll let you catch one too. 
Nod your head like this if it's a deal. When Bear nodded his head, Shadow nodded his head too. So Bear went back to the pond and once again threw his line into the water. By this time, the sun was in a different part of the sky, which made it easy for Shadow to keep his part of the deal. And when Bear caught that big fish, Shadow caught one too. The end. What a great story all about shadows. Well, shadows are really fun to experiment with. We're gonna do a little experimenting with shadows right now. All right, let's do it. Okay, well, you need three things to make a shadow. You need a light, you need an object to block the light, and a surface for the shadow to appear upon. So today I have this flashlight as my light source. I have a couple objects here. I have a little tree and then I have a little bear, just like the bear from the story, right? Moon bear. And I also have a little mat as well. Now, if you wanted to experiment with shadows, you could use a flashlight if you would like. Or you could also just use the sun if it's a sunny day and experiment on a driveway or a patio to do that with um, things you have around your house. All right, well, let's do some challenges with my flashlight and bear here. So what happens to bear's shadow as the sun moves? In the story, the sun moved across the sky and it changed how the shadows appeared on the ground, right? So if I take my light and I put it on my bear, if I'm behind the bear, the shadow goes in front of the bear. And as I move my light, the shadow gets shorter and shorter. And then I move it this way to the opposite side of the bear, the shadow moves to the bear's backside. Now that's because a shadow is cast when the light is on something, the shadow is on the opposite side of it. So whenever you have something, your shadow will always be on the opposite side of the light source. Now the sun is always in outer space shining. We don't see it all the time because the earth is rotating and going around the sun. And it takes an entire year for the earth to orbit around the sun. At the same time, the moon is orbiting around the earth. And every once in a while, a really special thing happens where the moon goes between the sun and the earth and we get something called a solar eclipse where the moon blocks the sunlight and we might have a little bit of darkness on the earth when there should be light because the moon is blocking the sun's rays. So that is pretty cool. We had one a few years ago. Let's try a different challenge with our light. Now what we're going to do is see if we can make our bear's shadow really long. So I'm gonna take my flashlight and put it on our bear here again. See how I can make it longer. Oh, well, it looks like if I put my light closer to the bear and even lower to the bear, it stretches the shadow longer. The further away and the higher I take my light and my sunlight here, the shorter my shadow is. Well, there are a lot of challenges that you can try with making shadows. And besides this type of setup, it's also really fun to make shadow puppets on the wall with um, paper that you can cut out or even just your hands, you can make some shadow puppets. So we have a lot of great ideas that I'm gonna put on right after this video. So stick around so you can see all the challenges and try some of your own. 
play well, learn well, and be well. Have some fun casting shadows. Happy Earth and Space Week. We'll see you next time. Bye.